So there, we've scanned the network and discovered all the system, ports, and services. But now it's time to scan for vulnerabilities. Vulnerability scan is one of the most important parts of a penetration test, or ethical hacking. Vulnerability scanning is an inspection of the potential points of compromising on a computer or network to identify security holes. A vulnerability scan detects and classifies system weaknesses in computers, networks, and network devices and predicts the effectiveness of countermeasures. So let's think about the term vulnerability first. I want to show you two vulnerability definitions from two important documents. The first document, ISO 27005, is the name of the prime 27,000 series standard covering information security risk management. The standard provides guidelines for information security risk management, ISRM, in an organization, specifically supporting the requirements of an information security management system defined by ISO 27001. So according to ISO 27005, vulnerability is a weakness of an asset or group of assets that can be exploited by one or more threats. The second document is published by NIST. That's the National Institute of Standards and Technology. NIST is a measurement standards laboratory and a non-regulatory agency of the United States Department of Commerce. Its mission is to promote innovation and industrial competitiveness. NIST has very good guides about cybersecurity, so if you're cybersecurity personnel, you should definitely keep your eyes on NIST. So according to NIST, vulnerability is a flaw or weakness in a system, security procedures, design, implementation, or internal controls that could be exercised accidentally triggered or intentionally exploited and result in a security breach or a violation of the system's security policy. Let's see the basic vulnerability detection methods. By looking at an application's banner information or by obtaining version information of the application, it is possible to know about potential weaknesses in that application. The weaknesses found in certain versions of the applications are detected over time, and this information is collected in vulnerability databases. By looking at these databases, you may have information about whether there is a weakness in that application. Now, protocols used by the application in communication with a client may have vulnerabilities. In this case, the application can be exploited. A weak encryption algorithm in communication is an example. The vulnerability scanners send different types of packets over the network. It examines the behavior of the service against these packets and examines whether these behaviors are similar to the behaviors of the vulnerable services. Wrong configurations may cause the vulnerabilities and weaknesses. For example, if you configure your web application's authentication mechanism to allow three character passwords, it can very easily be cracked by attackers. A vulnerability scanner is a software program designed to assess computers, computer systems, networks, or applications for known weaknesses. In plain words, these scanners are used to discover the weak points or poorly constructed parts. It's utilized for the identification and detection of vulnerabilities relating to misconfigured assets or flawed software that resides on a network-based asset such as firewall, a router, web server, application server, etc. There are a lot of vulnerability scanners. Some of them are listed in this slide. We have seen Nmap in previous lectures as a network scanner, and we also learned that with the help of Nmap scripting engine, NSE, it's possible to use Nmap as a simple vulnerability scanner. Nessus is one of the most popular and capable vulnerability scanners. We'll see it in detail in the next lecture. Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer provides a streamlined method to identify missing security updates and common security misconfigurations. It's only for Microsoft systems, and we have to say that it's not an overall vulnerability scanner at all. But no matter what, if you have Windows systems in your network, it would be better if you used Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer. 
Nexpose is a commercial tool developed by Rapid7, which are the producers of Metasploit Framework. It is a vulnerability scanner which aims to support the entire vulnerability management lifecycle, including discovery, detection, verification, risk classification, impact analysis, reporting, and mitigation. It integrates with Metasploit for vulnerability exploitation. OpenVoth is an open source vulnerability scanner that was forked from the last free version of Nessus after that tool went proprietary in 2005. Saint is a commercial vulnerability assessment tool. Like Nessus, it used to be free and open source, but is now a commercial product. Unlike Nexpose and Qualys Guard, Saint runs on Linux and Mac OS X. In fact, Saint is one of the few scanner vendors that don't support or run on Windows at all. GFI LandGuard is a network security and vulnerability scanner designed to help with patch management, network and software audits, and vulnerability assessments. The price is based on the number of IP addresses you wish to scan. A free trial version up to five IP addresses is available. Qualys Guard is a popular code-based SAS, Software as a Service, vulnerability management offering. Its web-based UI offers network discovery and mapping, asset prioritization, vulnerability assessment reporting, and remediation tracking according to business risk. Secunia PSI, Personal Software Inspector is a free security tool designed to detect vulnerable and outdated programs and plugins that expose your PC to attacks. Attacks exploiting vulnerable programs and plugins are rarely blocked by traditional antivirus programs. Secunia PSI checks only the machine it is running on, while its commercial sibling, Secunia CSI, corporate software inspector, I know what you TV fans are thinking, um, anyway, that scans on multiple machines on a network. So, a vulnerability database is a platform aimed at collecting, maintaining, and disseminating information about discovered vulnerabilities targeting real computer systems. The database will customarily describe the identified vulnerability, assess the potential infliction on computer systems, and the workaround required to desist a hacker. Now, here are the most known vulnerability databases. Open sourced Vulnerability Database, OS VBD, was an independent and open source database. The goal of the project was to provide accurate, detailed, current, and unbiased technical information on security vulnerabilities. The project promoted greater and more open collaboration between companies and individuals. The project was started in August 2002 at the Black Hat and DEF CON conferences by several industry notables. On the 5th of April, 2016, the database was shut down, although the blog will continue. The National Vulnerability Database is the U.S. government repository of standards-based vulnerability management data represented using the Security Content Automation Protocol, SCAP. This data enables automation of vulnerability management, as well as security measurement and compliance. NVD includes databases of security checklists, security-related software flaws, misconfigurations, product names, and impact metrics. CVEDetails.com is a free CVE security vulnerability database information source. You can view CVE vulnerability details, exploits, references, Metasploit modules, a full list of vulnerable products, and CVSS score reports, and vulnerability trends over time. CVE, Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, is the system that provides a reference method for publicly known information security vulnerabilities and exposures.